Okay, today we're going to talk about some of the issues you will have working with uh, 3D printers and 3D models with uh, when you're when you're using them in terms of stop motion or any anything else. Uh, we'll go we'll go over some some of the ways that you can uh, do better with it. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to look at some prints. See, this print here is very faceted. Now, it's an interesting look in some ways, but if you are, if you use the same model and use, and use it in a uh, 3D rendering program, the rendering program would take care of all the, all the facets and that and make it look a lot more smooth. But th this is just, you know, it prints out the the geometry that you give it. So this is this is what you get. So here, what we did is we went up a level, and we did a, an additional level of smoothing here. And you can see it's pretty pretty dramatic what happened. Uh, you don't see any of the faceting in here. You don't see the Little, little squares going coming around at all the angles so so if you are making something to print on the three it i would say ideally you use an additional le level of smoothing over what you would normally use okay we're going to talk a little bit about printers an adventurer five n here and uh if you use it as they tell you to, you will have a lot of failed prints. They have, there are, there's one big glaring issue that, that I have with it. And I was able to fix it to the reason. One of the first issues with it is the way this is attached, this uh, screen is attached. I use, I just use a piece of two-faced tape. Kind of used to hold up pictures. Uh, I think it's supposed to hold up to 35 pounds. So that little screen is not going to be an issue. But let's go to the back. Now in here, in the back, this right here is what's supposed to be holding on the spool that is not good. Basically, then after you get it through here, it's supposed to go through this tube, put in this tube, go through this tube, and it's supposed to come around here and come down. There are a lot of points of contact, a lot of points of failure. Now, let's take a look at how I actually set it up. And I have not had any problems with uh, the material getting in there. I, you know, I, I had issues with prints because the plate was dirty or, or just not a well laid out mat geometry. But as far as getting the, getting the material into the printer, it's not a problem using this method. What I do is I go, go straight up and it's really spool and it's always coming down, straight down from there. It is a pretty simple setup. The board, you know, the three boards, we get two spools, and they come both come and screw down. We need a piece of uh, three quarter of the conduit, and is what we're using. And we're not using anything else. That's it. It doesn't move around so much that you know, the conduit comes out or falls down or anything like that. It's never happened. And I've used quite a, just quite a few of them. So, if you're doing 3D prints and you're having problems with, like, so, material not coming off properly. Find a way to get the material overhead and drop it straight down into your machine. And you should see those come away. 